Hello there, this is part six of our training uh, series. Uh, so we have created this uh, node group or template uh, for our scratches or uh, these worn out areas. But uh, say we want to also have uh, some scratches on the map to be included uh, in our mask here. Uh, what we can do, we can go back to the node by hitting tab, select the node and then select the node group and then hit tab. Then we can start working on uh, the scratches <coughs> so for the scratches I'm just going to add another texture image texture I will find that in my texture folder uh, if I can find that let me see let me select this preview this and see how it looks So it seems that uh, you can't preview uh, using the Node Wrangler add-on. I can't preview uh, this directly uh, using Control Tab like we were doing before. So what I'm going to do is first ungroup uh, the entire Node group. So ungroup uh, so that I can expose all my uh, nodes, and then I can preview this node here. Now uh, this is these are the scratches we want. And uh, I want to scale them up just a bit. So I'm going to use Control T. Uh, to bring up uh, the texture coordinate mapping uh, so that I can scale them uh, this down a bit. So I can go to the scale factor here and push that a bit down. I can see that this is not a tileable texture. That's why we're having uh, those tiling issues. But uh, uh, in my case, uh, for this model, it's not going to be that much of a problem. Uh, I also want to have only the scratches. So I'm going to add a car ramp so that I can cut out some of uh, those areas so I can just use this again if you don't want that gradient there you can just add a convert math node and change the operation uh, to greater than to only see uh, the scratches like that and I can use this gradient to cut out uh, the parts don't want something like that uh, let me try a different I'm going to mi let me mix uh, this these texture maps because I'm, I'm I don't like that uh, we don't have enough scratches here so I'm just going to duplicate this node setup and uh, find a different scratch map or texture in my textures here that I can uh, layer them on top of uh, this scratch so I can get these and preview this you can also give them the same contrast or so they so that they are kind of sharp like that then we can mix them with a convert math node just have this have these connected like this change the operation to something like multiply actually you want to change uh, to multiply not subtract and so that you can see both both are uh, those small scratches we have just added and uh, uh, the larger scratches and now we don't want these scratches to appear everywhere so what we can do uh, we have remember we have this mask here we can use that uh, to cut out we want those scratches to be mainly around uh, the worn out areas like you see here so in the middle here they're not as many as on the corners there so uh, because the corners are always the most exposed areas so i'm just going to duplicate this math node have this here uh, so this is what we, we are getting and I want to subtract it from this we want this to be subtracted from that area so you can see now we have the scratches mostly in those areas then can use the contrast here now we want mul subtract not multiply and uh, I think it's the other way around so we need to flip this around 
I actually don't like that. So let's try. Sometimes greater than really produces uh, good results, so you might want to play around with that and see what you get. Uh, which are not these are not really that bad. Uh, they're not really bad results, but I think uh, we subtracted them uh, a bit early. So I think we should use uh, this node instead of this here. So that. want to use uh, this node here so that we have the worn out mask are uh, being cut off uh, from this other area and now uh, we can play with this actually we can try can see how we are getting those worn out areas let's try go through different operations and see how what we are getting so this is multiply there is also this is power it's not giving us really these are not really bad results except of this here so let me see yeah i like this better than what we had before <coughs> i like how the scratches are being mixed uh, with, uh, with the worn out areas Uh, we, we can reduce the one out areas using this node group here this value here now uh, if you don't want to have the one out areas to be this smooth from top to bottom or uh, to have a straight and you want to break them up uh, like we, we did before uh, I think we would have to let's just break them up from around here instead of uh, here. let me just see if I remove this node uh, so we not get a lot of effect here so I think I should just break them up around here so yeah so you can see now we are breaking them up later And uh, maybe instead of using this mask grave, I don't, s I don't like how it's affecting the entire thing. So I'm just going to use, let's see, uh, let's just use a noise map and see how that looks. You now we can use a convert car ramp here to get some contrast. So I think the scale of the noise is a bit high. So we need to make uh, the noise a bit smaller. I think uh, that's better. This is what we are getting now. I like how this is uh, there. So again, we have a lot of sliders here we can play around with how uh, to get different uh, results. And uh, in the next tutorial, uh, what we're going to do is expose uh, some of these values so that we don't have to go back to the car ramp or any of these nodes so that we just use 
our slider value like this uh, to slide around to get uh, the results we want. Uh, but uh, uh, this mask can now be used for any of the objects we have in our scene. Uh, so the only difference, we the only thing we would have to do is switch out uh, the, curvature, the curvature map uh, that's produ producing those worn out areas. Because remember, uh, we made different curvature maps for uh, the table, uh, then the books, uh, and then uh, the, uh, the papers. So we need to make sure that uh, each of the objects is using its own, uh, the, 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 the right curvature map. Yeah, so we look at that in the next part.